Hey guys, I'm Jonathan Howe, and I'm in the studio again today with my daughter Aiden. Hi. And uh, today she wanted to draw an owl, so I'm going to help show her how to draw an owl and help show you guys. Thank you for the uh, support from the last video. Uh, we had a blast and looking forward to it this time. Alright, so today we're going to be drawing this barred owl, and it's a little more complex maybe than the wren. But, similar, we're going to break it down again and this is how Daddy's picture went. into the different shapes that we see. Now starting out, I see this circular head and then a diamond shape for the body. So, let's start by drawing this head right here, drawing a circle for the head, right and you can right follow here, along. It's kind of straight. Yep, and we'll get that. Why don't you go along and draw with me? So draw your circle for the head. And then out from here, there's kind of a straight line going this way near the side of the circle. We're going to draw it straight out there. And then this almost is straight down. We're looking at different angles, and it comes out just a little bit. But this whole shape makes a big diamond shape for the body, like that. And it almost, if you look at it, it comes down here and then it cuts over at an angle this way. So instead of coming way down there, good. Well, it's been your eraser. Yep. And I'm going to find that shape a little better. All right, there we go. Now we're going to look at the face here. And if you look at it, there's almost these two ovals. But first we're going to divide looking at the, the angle of the face. And so there's almost a straight line from the top of the head down through here where this beak is. So we're going to, we're going to draw a line a little bit at an angle right here like that. And that's going to be the angle. And then here, where the eyes are, it's not perfectly straight. It's tilted a little bit, the eyes. So if you were to draw an imaginary line from the corner of the outside eye to the corner of this eye, it makes a slight angle like that. So I'm going to draw a line kind of in the middle of the face that's at an angle like that. Do you see that? Good. All right, and then you have these kind of oval shapes around the eye, so it comes to the center and makes these big oval shapes right here, centered around that line. All right, and along that axis line for the eyes right here, we're going to draw, watch me, I'm going to draw the eyes, these circles that are coming out from that line, right like that, and they lap over the top. They kind of make almost like a squished football shape. <laughs> I know they're round inside, but on the corners they make a, a squished football. There we go. And then down here at the bottom underneath your ovals you have where it, the beak is which is like a little triangle right here. See on that line? That beak is in line with our the angled axis of the face. All right, now, now looking at my drawing, I might say, well, my eyes are a little large, and but maybe the head is a little small. So I'm going to build it out a little bit over my here. My eyes are a little. It's okay. When my head is and as you draw, you'll notice things are off as you compare with what you've drawn, and you can build it out and correct. And I'm noticing this line that comes out from the top of the head over here, it almost connects with the body. There's like a line that goes this way, 
And you can see, if you look at the angle again from the head to the back here, see how it angles out like that? So it would almost come out at an angle like this, more, more than an angle out this way. And then that diamond comes down that way. See, like that. And so you can maybe erase those lines and erase that line. And then it makes the body more tilted over. There you go. So that's all part of the process of drawing, is comparing angles. And then later we're going to get to the shading. Yeah. Like what we did And here, today. you can break this down into other diamonds, as you see this main line here of the feathers coming across here, and coming up into the body right there. That gives that main shape of the wing overlapping the body. And you have another kind of line here and other feathers coming like that, different shapes. But then this main wing comes down here inside the body at an angle down toward the tail. The picture kind of cuts off the tail, but it's right there. And all this is kind of fuzzy. See where the fuzzy feathers are? Keeps it nice and warm. I wonder if owls lay eggs. They sure do. So you can go into more and more detail as you draw these feathers one by one in here. Just depending on how much detail you want to add, you can add that. But right now we're looking at the main shape of the owl. And maybe to help it stand out, I might come in here and shade in the eyes and maybe leave a little highlight right on the top of this circle inside the eye, right up in here. But darken the rest, and it's going to make your drawing stand out a lot more. And then all of these, it's got this dark line where we made our oval. It's like his eyebrows. Yeah, it's like a big eyebrow that goes all the way around its cheek. And we have to, sh the top of the head we can shade in. And this line comes all the way in here, and like you said earlier, kind of creates a line. And we like kind of did that. Yeah, good. And this comes Just across here this and down here. And as you draw, you begin to subdivide your lines to get more detail. And we could spend a long time on this one shading. But we have the general shape. I'm going to erase a few lines here. This picture might take a little while, though. And we can quickly kind of draw a branch here so it shows that it's sitting on something. I like your owl, Aiden. It's turning out well. But you can see it's got some other feathers curving in here. And we could come in around the, the beak. It has, it's kind of dark around the beak and that'll make the beak stand out. I and we can kind of erase that. our middle line. Even though it comes down through here a little bit. You darken it around the beak there. I kind of keeped it on just a little okay. dark. And that makes this beak stand out a little bit. I think I should shade right around there. Looks like his nose. I like his beak is. Like on and as I draw, I can see that my circle here needs to come out further away from the eyes a little bit. So, I don't Thank always you. get it exact the first time. Even though he's a great artist. <laughs> so, as you go, you'll notice things and you just correct it. That's why on. you always um, you bring an eraser. Yep, an eraser is an artist's friend. Even one who's you know gone for mean. a long time. So I can continue to see that 
I drew this a little quickly and this could come out further. As you begin shading, you start to see where your drawing might need to be corrected. Because as you get the large shapes of value, you'll start to see where your drawing might be off a little bit. So this is where we're going to stop right now for today. Well, thank you guys for joining us in the studio. We've had a lot of fun drawing this owl. And uh, next time, hopefully we'll work a little bit more on shading it in and we'll see the progress there. We'll see you next time. Okay, bye. Bye.